Hey YouTube, Lucky here from the lab, and unless you've been living under a rock, you know that today is the first day of the Age of Triumph, and so accordingly, I am going to break down all of the vendor weapons and gear that are going to help you play in the Trials of Osiris and help you get that tier 12 build. Now if you don't know what I'm talking about with tier 12 build, I'll do a quick little over uh, cap of that. So basically, um, you know, your each armor uh, has aspects on it, intellect strength, intellect discipline, discipline, etc. And they contribute to your build here, right? And so you can have up to tier 5 for each one. Tier 5, tier 5, and tier 2. And this is the maximum possible build you can have unless you're using the Felwinter Artifact, which uh, doesn't really apply because it takes away your super. And so, in order to get this build I have right here, the tier 12 build 552 or 525 or 255 if you're a Night Stalker or whatever, you're going to need to have armor that has maximum stat rolls or near maximum stat rolls at least. And so I'm going to break down for you all the armor throughout the tower now that has the best stat rolls and all the weapons that are going to be the most helpful when playing Trials of Osiris in the future. Alright, so first we're going to look at Lord Shax, and Lord Shax has a mark that is tier 12 capable. It's a perfect roll, 100% um, intellect discipline roll. This is a great mark. I myself actually need this mark, so I'm going to buy this right now, ironically. Um, I need that mark because I haven't been using my Titan for that long, and so my marks aren't perfect. As you can see here, I've got a little um, a roll here that's a little bit less than the one I just bought. So. Now I've got that mark, I can upgrade and I can get one more stat point in Discipline, which won't make a big deal because I'm already tier 12, but maybe when I try to rearrange my armor it might make a difference. So I've got that, and now on to the next part. Um, I've reviewed all the armor already, so I'm just giving you the fast abbreviated version here. The gauntlets right here are pretty good, um, it's a decent roll, it's got melee attack speed and scout rifle speed, so it depends on what you're trying to do, and I'm going to break this down just for the titans alone and just for my titan, so that way um, I don't make this video too long. So the gauntlet's pretty good as well if you're looking for a gauntlet. Nothing else is really that respectable though. Moving on to, over to the Crucible Quartermaster, we've got several things that are really good. Um, this Zero Day Dilemma has counterbalance. Any auto rifle with counterbalance is pretty much usable. Um, there could be better perks uh, stacked onto it, in this, so this Zero Day Dilemma isn't really a god roll. Not a 10 out of 10 roll, but it's pretty good. It's got counterbalance, so it's definitely worth a try if you're looking for an auto rifle, especially because they just got a recent buff increase and hand cannons got a recent uh, range decrease. And so moving forward, we've got this palindrome. A lot of people are talking about this, saying, oh, this palindrome is amazing. It's got outlaw and reactive reload and rifled barrel, right? So that's kind of what you want originally. That's like the rifled barrel is the standard, um, you know, litmus test for a good hand cannon of this archetype. And also it has Icarus, which is cool too. But I think, in my opinion, wrong. I think that now with the current range decrease to hand cannons you really need rifled and rangefinder so the palindrome that was for sale previously for months and months and months i personally think that one's better than this one but this is definitely usable it's got rifled it's got rain it's got icarus or outlaw these are both great perks and it has reactive reload this is a decent hand cannon but with that range decrease i think that this is not going to be as nearly as powerful as the previous palindrome in my opinion Moving forward, we have this Event Horizon. This is a great roll here. It's got Hidden Hand Snapshot. These are classic perks for snipers. Um, these are classic, most helpful perks. Um, other than that, it's not necessarily the best, but it does have a decent roll with those two perks. So it's definitely a usable roll there uh, for the Event Horizon. And the last thing will be the Chaotic Neutral. Um, lately, I've been using my Zombie Apocalypse. I'm liking that arc type of machine gun more, but this roll has to be taken notice of because it has counterbalance, perfect balance, and so it's going to be shooting really steady shots, and those machine gun shots are going to land and melt your enemies on that heavy round. So now moving forward, uh, we're going to go to see Zavala and see what he has. Um, I already have it written down for him, and basically he has some really good boots. I'm going to pull them up here in a second. Uh, the only part that's wrong with these boots is that... Um, the boots uh, from the vanguards or from any of the vendors for that matter don't have this sixth perk here which is actually a really helpful perk in pvp all, all, a lot of the time if i can words uh, mine has last hope so when i'm the last living guardian i have increased agility which is really helpful in trials if i'm trying to one verse three it my two teammates go down i'm gonna want some last hope so other than not having that perk this is an absolutely excellent roll it's one point away on each from perfect and it's definitely worth your time now I'm going to move across the way here, and I'm going to go over to the left and go check out Dead Orbit, and we'll look at some of the stuff they have. While I do this, if you guys want to comment below on um, 
some new stuff you've gotten in the Age of Triumph, let me know. I want to see some weapons you guys have been using. There's been a lot of changes to the weapons, so I think that some auto rifles might actually stand out as being really powerful. We'll see. Maybe the Suros will be a little bit more usable. I know that from the last update, they were really trying to make auto rifles more usable, but um, it just didn't really seem to fit. You know, they... They did a decent job, auto rifles were a little closer to usable, but still hand cannons prevailed and pulse rifles as well. So let me know what kind of god roll auto rifles do you guys have out there, what auto rifles are you loving if you're using them at all. Alright now we're at dead orbit and I'm going to go over his gauntlet and his shotgun. So his gauntlet right here is a perfect gauntlet for using um, what I like to use which is the hammer, throwing sticky grenades, you're going to want that throw distance. And uh, the hand cannon reload speed is also excellent because hand cannons are, are pretty popular currently. Maybe this will change with if hand cannons um, aren't as popular in the future, but this is an absolutely excellent gauntlet. The intellect roll on that is perfect. The strength is four points low, so not, not a perfect roll, but not a bad roll by any means at all. Um, the shotgun here, uh, this is just for PvE purposes. I don't really talk a whole ton about PvE, but this is actually a pretty good shotgun for PvE. Um, but if you're actually looking for just a strict PvE shotgun, the Occam's Razor from the Vanguard Quartermaster is going to be, be better than this. So definitely don't buy this necessarily, but a full auto shotgun can always be good in some PvE. I'll go to the Vanguard Quartermaster in just a second. Before I get there though, I gotta go up to the Colt. Alright, currently I'm pledged to the Colt. And then... Um, they have a chest piece and they have wormwood. So the chest piece is an absolutely insane roll. This is only one point away from perfect. And on top of that, it's got solar armor and I'm a solar titan, so that's perfect for me. And uh, sidearm ammo, not necessarily the best, but we'll, we can go with that. Not too bad at all. Definitely an amazing chest piece. Perhaps the most um, impressive chest piece, uh, armor piece of all the pieces currently in the tower. Um, and on to the next part, we have the wormwood here. And this Wormwood is going to have Reactive Reload, so after you kill, get a kill, you reload and it has increased damage. And that coupled with Flared Magwell is going to be awesome. So you can reload this weapon a little bit faster, help you get this Reactive Reload, a little bit of fitted stock. This could be a pretty good weapon here. Um, I personally use the Rangefinder Wormwood that I got dropped to me, so I'm not going to get this. Um, I'm a bigger fan of Rangefinder sidearms because uh, you know at range you want to make sure to get that uh, respectable kill time. So. I'm not going to use this one, but it's definitely not a half bad roll. Nothing to laugh at by any means. Alright, now I'm going to run across to the other side of the tower, and I'm going to go check out um, what we have in store for us at the new monarchy. Alright, and if you guys don't know, we have been playing a ton of the Age of Triumph on stream. Make sure you look in the description of this video below and join us on twitch.tv. We did a 20 hour stream, 20 hours consecutive streaming of Crota and Age of Triumph and just playing it endlessly. We have been absolutely loving the new update. Uh, let me know what you guys have been doing lately. We've been just dominating the Crota uh, raid, having a lot of fun with it. Crota is where our channel started and so um, to come back to Crota updated is a lot of fun for us. Hey, Here we are talking to Hideo. All right. Uh, he has an auto rifle, and basically this assembly auto rifle is a really good roll. Um, it's got counter bounce, perfect bounce, which is really nice for this high fire rate because high fire rate shoots like a bullet hose, and coupled together with uh, some perfect bounce, counter bounce, maybe a quick draw on that can be actually really quite nice. And so, that being said, that's everything in the tower um, for the first week. Now, these, all this stuff should be rotating every week, so I'll probably bring you guys a video every single week um, on Tuesday going over all the new tier 12 stuff. Hopefully you guys and grills out there are able to um, get to tier 12. It's not a necessity by any means. Tier 11 or even tier 10 is just fine, but uh, tier 12 feels really nice. You feel like you're at your maximum potential and that you can do as much as you possibly can uh, when you're playing trials. And so feels really good to have tier 12. Uh, the scory has been nerfed, so might end up switching out my scory, but I do like having the tier 12, so maybe I'll switch out to something else and uh, settle with tier 11 on my own personal character. Um, I'm very thankful that score got nerfed. I actually really don't like using it, but uh, it's just there and uh, everyone uses it against us, so figure we might as well have it on every now and again. This is also a pretty good roll from the speaker as well to take note. Um, obviously, if you're going to get one, just get one from Shaxx. It's a little bit better. It's got one stat roll higher, and this one has Vanguard reputation, so 
if you're playing a lot of crucible the shacks one's going to be better if you're playing a lot of strikes that one from the speaker is going to be better that's everything if you guys have any questions go ahead and post them in the comment section below i'll read as many as i can i'll try to answer a few of them at least and thank you all so much for watching leave a like on this video have a good night and stay saucy